very, very quiet start to the day. By the now that we're creeping up ever so closer to uh, when daylight savings time begins. Well, now we're actually starting to see that sunlight getting just a bit over the horizon. A little bit of that cloud cover kind of illuminated up there behind our camera, but we'll go ahead and take a look at unfortunately the chillier start to the day. Currently 25 degrees in Fairfield, but very light winds out of the south contributing to a wind chill value there in the lower 20s. So we're waking up with this cloud cover, but as you can see up here into the top, top corner, there is some blue sky associated with it. So don't expect to see a completely overcast start to the day. And as for the next few hours, we'll actually look at some sunshine poking on through and leaving us with a partly sunny start to today's forecast, but we will still continue to see a mix of sun and clouds, not a completely sunny filled day just yet. That'll be here for when we actually get into the best kind of a forecast that we've seen here for uh, quite a while. And we've actually been going through these uh, warm ups over the course of weekends. Great news is we've got another one in store, but for right now, make sure you're bundling up because we do have that chilly start and heading into the afternoon hours. We're going to look at a day that is just right on line with what a normal late February kind of a forecast is temperature wise. Highs in the low 40s, right where they should be at for this time of year. Lighter winds picking up initially out from the south, but we will see them picking up out from the west northwest later on during the, uh, during the day today. Overnight tonight, temperatures falling into the mid and lower 20s underneath clear skies. And as we get into our end of the work week and Friday forecast, as we head into a normal last day of February, temperatures once again right on line with where they should be at for this time of year in the lower 40s, maybe about a degree or two cooler than what we're going to be looking at today, but not all that much is changing just yet. But let's take a look at how the jet stream is going to change and how that is going to then affect the heartlands weather. So the cold air that brought that came on down in on Wednesday that is falling behind that snowstorm that missed the heartland and is continuing off into the east, continuing to impact areas in New England and the East Coast behind it. Here's that clipper system that worked its way across the area for today's forecast that warm front lifting across is going to help keep those seasonal temperatures flowing on into the area today but off to the west out in the four corners region where there's been high pressure blocking which keeps that warmer airflow just rising up out into the west coast and diving on down down away from the heartland well as the jet stream lifts back to the north we're actually going to see it flatten out a little bit becoming a more zonal pattern is what we refer to that a more due west to east kind of a pattern and that is going to then bring Bring all that warmer air that that has been trapped off to the south and west and it's going to head towards the heartland. But then as we end the weekend and get started with our next work week, this cold front diving on down, there is a strong trough that's developing off to the west. This U shape is going to eventually translate east and bring with it multiple chances for some precipitation. The good news being it is going to be warm enough that it will be rain. But before we get into any kind of a precipitation chance, well, we're going to look at a gorgeous start to our weekend. Sunny skies. 57 degrees for a high on Saturday. Overnight lows still in the upper 30s. Sunday, 63 degrees possibly for a high temperature on Sunday. And that's before the rain moves on in because it looks like we're going to be holding things off until later in the day on Sunday for that precipitation chance. So it's going to be a great weekend to get out and do anything spring related. But for now, let's go ahead and send it back over to Ella.